Welcome to episode 50 of the FC24 player career mode. This is by far the longest series I have ever done. And if you're still enjoying it, make sure to leave a like on this video. For episode 50, let's see if we can somehow get 2,000 likes on this episode. That would be very special. So in the last episode, we obviously had some bad results. We almost knocked out Napoli in the UCL, but it was not meant to be. So we have 10 games remaining of the league, and this is what it's all about right now. We also have a final that we're going to be playing today in the Spanish Cup against Tenerife, which, um, you know, we have a chance to win our first trophy with Barca, but... You know, just one trophy is, is not, not good enough and it's not the biggest trophy. So, you know, I, I hope we can try to win every single game remaining in the league and see if any of the other teams uh, can, you know, mess up and we can catch up a little bit. That would be um, very, very entertaining. But we'll have to wait and see what happens, guys. Let's get into the first match of the episode, which is going to be against Real Betis. And as I said, we have to win every single one remaining. We have done very well, but the pass is uh, not finding anyone. Real Betis there with a uh, dangerous shot. Sort of slips over as he shoots. This is good football from Betis again. Uh, but choose cool there. What a performance he's had in this match. And now Pedri to Sander. Come on, can we maybe get a proper chance now? We'll pass it to Ferran and I don't think it's offside. We make it 1-0, what a great counter for Barca. Betis are getting very close guys. We are uh, starting to look tired. The effects of that Napoli game are starting to hit the team. And here they are again. Can we block the shot or... Oh my god. Oh no. Pedri gets it away. Come on. Keep winning the headers guys. And Betis win it straight back. Are they actually about to destroy our day? I hope not. Here is Sander though. And the Betis defenders are colliding. We literally have... Look at that, we have zero stamina, man. Everyone back now. We have to defend this. Long leg heads it out and Cancelo. Yes, I think we have enough now to get the three points. We scrape a 1-0 victory, guys, but that is so, so important. We literally have to win, as I said, every single game. So all of them are like a cup final. Up next we have some even bigger games because we have the Euro 2028 qualifiers and as we can see from the table Norway have 10 points, Italy on 12, Spain on 6. So yeah guys if we can pick up a couple of victories today we are looking very good in this uh, group stage and you know hopefully gonna qualify for that Euro 2028. Now there is one thing I have to ask you guys and as we can see here from the current contracts the negotiations are ongoing with Barcelona to extend it for one more season. But as you can see, I need more hat tricks to actually, you know, fill out the objectives in this contract. And what we have seen earlier, guys, with Arsenal, Leverkusen, if I haven't filled out all of my objectives, they don't even offer me a new contract. Obviously, there was a lot of money involved as well, but Barcelona should be able to pay that. So, in case Barcelona do not accept me, guys, for next season, we need a backup plan. And Liverpool seems like they are going to be offering me a contract because we are eligible for that one. We also have, of course, Real Madrid being interested and we have pretty much filled out every single objective for that. So, my question to you guys right now is if Barcelona do not offer us a new contract in the summer, do we go to Liverpool or do we go to Real Madrid? Leave it in the comment section down below. The comment with the most likes is the one I'll be choosing. So, this is important guys. I need your opinions. So, let's get into the next games with Norway. This is absolutely massive. As I said, if we can get a result here against Czech Republic and then, you know, against Italy... We are looking very good to make it out of this uh, group and into the Euros. I mean, it's been like 20 years since Norway even was qualified. I don't think Norway has ever even made it out of the group stages in the Euros. So 
We have potential to make history, guys. Obviously, we made it to the round of 16 for the World Cup. And uh, right now, we are back in the starting 11 as well. We have been a little bit in and out of this team. You know, we have had some injuries. We have been playing many different positions. So, the manager wasn't really too sure, you know, where to play me. Get the best out of me. But right now, we are starting as a striker. So, we have actually benched Holland. That is pretty crazy. Ooh, that is a good ball from Czech Republic, and I really thought that was in the back of the net. They almost take the lead. There we go, Martin. And uh, let's see, we have options. We'll give it to number seven, and now Ödegård. What a goal that would have been, guys. With the Trivela technique. Chances for both teams at the start of this game. I think it's going to be a good one. Here we have Czech Republic on the attack. They obviously really need a victory. Or else they are completely out. So uh, they are pushing now. Good block. Sue checked. We know he can shoot or pass it. And look at that. We are 1-0 down. This is the history of Norway. When it really matters, we bottle it. There we go. Come on. Please, Norway. That is a good ball. Into Sander. And we finish it in the back of the net. What a goal. And uh, we have another one for our country. An injury for Czech Republic. I uh, don't know what actually happened. But he has to be uh, subbed out, I think. The referee is calling over the bench. And we can take a look at this situation because I'm not totally sure here. Okay, it was a collision. That is their number nine as well. So, you know, I hate to see injuries, but that's that's good for us. What just happened with that drop, by the way? That is one of the weirdest moments ever. And we almost score from it as well. Oh, that would have been pretty uh, disrespectful if we if we scored from that, but game is game. No way! Czech Republic makes it 2-1 again. That is a good ball into Sheldrup and we have an assist for Norway. That goal was so lucky. No way. Are you kidding me? Czech Republic make it 3-2. This game is one of the craziest ones. Oh my god, what is he done? Big chance now for Norway to take advantage. Sheldrup and what a save from the goalie. And uh, we have indeed been subbed out guys. Holland comes on. You know we are tired and a, a fit Holland is going to be very nice in these last minutes. I wish we could have played together but you know we need a little bit of rest as well. So please tell me Norway can make a comeback and you know we lose 5-3. Wow, I cannot believe it. We might actually be bottling the Euro qualifying spots so bad when, you know, when we really need to win, we simply mess up and, you know, Spain have won their game. So they're just one point behind us. Italy have one game less played, but, um, you know, we have them next. And I'm, I'm starting to think that we have to win this game. If we draw, you know, Spain might go above us in this. Uh, group and then things are all of a sudden looking really bad so guys we need a really big result there against Italy and it's not going to be easy Italy on the attack right off and Norway come away with it let's see now Sander do we have a little bit more stamina today we've done all right and uh, let's cross it in straight to Donnarumma that is awful There we go, good pressure from Nusa. Come on, Sander. Play that to Kitolano. And then... Oh, 
I thought maybe we could get a penalty or something, but uh, we gotta take these chances. Italy have made a couple of defensive mistakes so far. So they are not uh, perfect either. But on the attack, they're very good. Here they are with Moise Keen. And Ayer cannot keep up. Berardi. Let's try to help out. There we go. Get in. And oh, we cannot get the ball. Here is Moise Keen through on goal. And what a chance. Moise Keen and Italy now are getting very close. Our keeper is having a great game. And that is saying a lot about this match. Get it out of there and look at this. And there they are, Udogi. Yeah, you just knew it was coming. Italy make it 1-0 before halftime and we might be done in the Euros, guys. After, after it was looking so good, this has been two very bad matches so far. And I don't know how we're going to turn this around. Okay, that's a good ball. Into Sander. Can we instantly reply here? Sander, what a goal! Oh, that literally came out of nothing, guys. The first shot we've had in the whole match. What a way to end the first half. We really needed that goal after Italy scored. But, you know, I feel like there's going to be more goals in the second half. So, let's get into it, guys. We needed three points there. Oh, Bastoni! What a chance again! And there it is. Italy make it 2 1 off a corner. And they're back in the lead. This will be so difficult now. Come on! Sander is 3 1 goal again! And we've scored another one! It hits the post and goes in. I don't get this game at all. We literally don't wake up until Italy score a goal. And then we actually start playing football. I mean, a little bit of luck, uh, lucky that this one goes in off the post as well. Norway make a change. We sub in Holland. So uh, we are going to be playing with him up front now. I like that a lot. We have had a good connection. One of the reasons why Norway even have a chance here of qualifying. We cannot let Italy score again. That would be so bad. Tonali now with the shot. Now oh, we have Hall on here. This is good from Norway already. Let's see. What we can do. Lots of passes. This is looking promising. Sander takes it around the defense. Can we look for Holland in the box? And Italy clear it away. There we go, we find Holland with a header, and can he just run past everyone here? He gives it to Sander, and all of a sudden, guys, oh my god, come on, finish the chance, and it goes past on Aruba. Norway have done it, we are 3-2 up, and that is a hat-trick from Sander, an instant impact from Holland as well, and I would have never guessed that would happen in this game. I mean, Italy have dominated, but we have been very clinical. We have scored every single shot we pretty much have. And that one is so powerful to go past Donnarumma. And now, er, I mean, uh, Martin Erdegaard also comes on. So, this is all of a sudden looking very good for us. Italy might not be done though. Here they are again. Norway gets it out, but it falls to Tomali. Good save. I mean, our keeper has had a massive performance today as well. Cannot forget about that. Look at this. We give it straight back to Italy. Chiesa. And luckily, we have tall defenders. And now, Holland. Two against one. We'll give it to Erling Holland. He gives it back to Sander. And we've done extremely well again. And what am I doing? Italy with the ball and not long left of this game. Are they going to get one more chance? And uh, ooh, this is looking 
promising for Italy. Yudogi and Ayin gets that one away. But Italy win it straight back to Nali now. Into Chiesa. And Christopher Ayin with the block. And look at this. Just clear it away. Get it out of there. And referee More have beat Italy 3-2. I think that's my greatest performance for our country. We pick up the match ball, the hat trick, and we might have just sent Norway through to the Euro 2028 for the first time in like over 20 years. The newspapers are saying Sander scored the final goal of the game to complete his hat trick and help his team seal a 3 2 win against Italy. So, right now, I really want to take a look and see. You know, the, the standings. Uh, did Spain win their game? Did they drop some more points? Let's find out, guys. And Norway take the number one spot. And, you know, Spain haven't actually played another game yet. Of course, Italy also have one game less played than us. So, if they win that one, they will go past us. But even if Spain win their game, uh, they will have 12 points. And we will be above them, guys. I still think we have to win all of the remaining games we have in this um, you know, group stages, but I mean, this is uh, this is so exciting, guys. This race for the uh, Euro 2028 ticket. Anyway, now we have a big game in the league. Athletic has got 54 points. Barcelona has got 54 points. And as we can see, we're up to third in the table. Real Madrid have actually overtaken Atletico. Atletico has been the number one spot since the season started. Real Madrid was like number seven or eight for very long. So, I mean, the gap is only, f you know, seven points, guys. Here is Athletic, and that is the first chance of the game. We do not want to go 1-0 down there. That would be a disaster. Again. What a ball from Ter Stegen. Come on, Sander. It's you against the whole defense here. And they've gone past one. We've gone past two. We give it to our teammates. Can we get it back? Yes! But we cannot get the goal. What a save. I should be scoring. There we are. Good defensive work. And now Sander can run through everyone here. Come on, keep going. It's a Norwegian battle here against uh, Yelda. And he comes away with it this time. Come on, let's keep up the press here. Force a mistake from Athletic. There we go. Straight to Kunda. And now Barca are pushing. Yes, we get lucky. Finish! Oh my god! That is one of the most satisfying goals we've ever scored. That one literally had no movement. It just flew into the top 90. Very satisfying goal. And a very important one. we go again. Come on, Sander. Take it past him. We've absolutely smoked him for pace. And now, can we finish it and score the second of the match? Get in there, guys. What a moment for us. And we are carrying Barca on our backs. We might have a late title race on here, guys. Barca are looking strong now. I mean, this season would not be a total disaster if we win the league. And obviously the cup. If we do a double, I mean, that is a very good season. You know, even if we went out of the UCL early and... Oh, how have we not made a three? What a ball all of a sudden. Athletic are very open here. And Munayin has done good. Yes, that is so good. Now we give it up to Ferran Torres and that is the end of the first half. You know, we need to get a hat-trick to try to obviously make Barca want to give me a new contract. So let's see if we can get one more goal in this game. Alright, we'll take the throw in. We're getting close now to the third. There we go, Garcia. Into Sander, this is good. 
Ooh, Ter Stegen is out quickly there. Nice from him. And he finds us with a good pass. Let's see Pedri through to Sander. And we've gone past him. Can we get our hat trick, guys? Please! No, what a miss! All of a sudden, Athletic are through on goal with Correa back over and what a save from Ter Stegen. We cannot let them get back into the game. Absolutely not, guys. And that ball falls perfectly to us, but we have little stamina left now. And here is Athletic again with Correa. Looking dangerous. Munaim have scored and Athletic are right back in it. Are you kidding me? Mulain have just scored two goals in two minutes. And he might have just uh, destroyed this uh, dream or a little bit of hope that we had for a potential title race. Look at that. Two goals in two minutes, man. What a finish that is as well. And we have just been subbed out with a few minutes left. Come on, Lewandowski. Look at all of the chances that we missed, by the way. We had so many shots. We could not get our hat-trick, and now are we actually going to mess this up? Look at that. I cannot believe it. We were 2-0 up in the 80th minute, and then we conceded three goals. And, you know, when things like this happen, guys, we simply do not deserve anything. I think that's the worst result we've had with Barcelona, considering, you know, we were 2-0 up as well. I, I cannot believe it. I should have buried the game as well, you know. Alright, we're uh, anyway going over to another match now. This is going to be a cup final. So, you know, we have a chance to win a trophy. But let's take a look at the league quickly. We're back down to fifth. And Real Madrid actually lost their game as well. So if we would have won that game, we would have just been four points behind. But, you know, we still have eight matches remaining of the season. So, guys, I mean, even though we just lost, there is still hope that... We could uh, have a bit of a title race. Let's have a good training session before this final. And maybe if we can win this game, we will have, you know, a little bit of extra motivation for these last league games as well. I think we need it. But uh, let's not underestimate Tenerife, guys. We have to play the match and uh, have a good performance. What just happened? Tenerife! Make it 1-0! And... Aww. Uh, Come on, Sander, fighting all the way through, but we cannot score it. Almost 2-0 for Tenerife. They are cooking us. This is so embarrassing. In the cup final, we are playing like this. Sander clears it away, but... Give it straight back to Tenerife. They are closer to 2-0 than we are 1-1. One, one. What is going on? Come on. What a run that is. Please. Amazing touch from Santer. And we are 3 one goal here. Can we finish? And there we go. That is better. It took us 37 minutes to score against Tenerife, but finally we have it in the back of the net. Here we go again. Come on, Sander. Pass it back over to Ferron. And there we go. Finish! No! I think that's gonna be it, guys, for the first half. It is 1 1 in this cup final. That is a good ball. Come on! Fair run! We are trying desperate things. Let's see if we can win the ball here. That would be huge. And we cannot. 
Tenerife actually are playing some very good football. I can understand that they made it into the final. Not just by luck. in our penalty box this is not good at all a couple of blocks there come on maybe now Petri Sander what a touch that is and now I think I'm just gonna shoot we got a little bit of knock ball there made it difficult for the keeper and we go to the get in there Ter Stegen with a beautiful ball up to Sander. We find Fervon Torres. This is a good attack from Barca. Come on, boys. Kunda over to Sander as well. And we give it to Pedri. Oh, this is, un this is unbelievable. What a goal from Barca. Is that the best attack we've actually had the whole season? I think so. The passes had a purpose every single time. And it works out for 2-1 up in the cup final. What a goal. That is insane. Drop a like, guys. That deserves a like. There we are. What a save again from the goalkeeper. Oh, that would have been a spectacular goal from Sander. But uh, come on, can we get the third one? Just wrap this game up. That is a good delivery. And finally, guys, after about 100 corners, we've actually scored one. And that is Barcelona with the cup title in the bag. A save from Ter Stegen. How has Tenerife not scored that chance? There we go, guys. We have won the Spanish Cup. And, you know, after going out in the UCL, after being so bad in the league, this kind of gives us a bit of a spark that we needed. And as I said before, hopefully we can build on this now and use it in the last eight matches of the league. If we can try to win every single one, you know, we might have a chance, but um, now it is time for a little bit of celebrating. I think this is uh, our trophy number six or seven in our career. We will take a look at that later, but very happy to get this one over the line. And uh, we had a pretty good uh, run, guys, in this competition. And fair play to Tenerife. They did do very well in this final, better than I expected. But Barcelona were too strong for them today. And here we are in the dressing room with the trophy as well. So, um, yeah, love to see that, guys. It's it's nice that we at least picked up a trophy this season. If we might not win the league or, you know, the UCL, at least something, guys, is, is what this club is um, needing every single season. If you don't win a trophy, it is obviously a failure. But um, let's take a look at our overall trophies, guys. We have two league titles, three domestic cups, and one continental cup, so... In total, we have won six trophies, which is not that bad. Um, but yeah, we have to um, we have to keep pushing now for the league because this is going to be an intense end to the season. Eight matches left. There is a seven-point gap, guys. And if we look at the last game of the season, it's going to be Real Madrid at home. This could actually be the the decider to decide who's going to win the league. And as we can see from our fixtures as well, we don't have the most difficult opponents. So, you know what guys, my plan was to finish all of these games today because I thought we had no chance for the title. But in episode number 51 guys, we will uh, finish all of these remaining games for the season and find out who's going to be going away with the trophy. Of course, let me know in the comment section down below what you think we should make in our decision if Barcelona doesn't give us a new contract because, you know, in the next episode... Uh, we will find out what we do with that as well. But uh, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. What a, what a moment to win that trophy. But now we have to push for another one.